welcome to my practice example simple sorting quiz solution. So here's the simple sorting practice quiz. I have my text editor. So let's see what the quiz is. I need to write a simple Java class that has a bubble sort method, takes an array and a comparator, and it must implement the bubble sort. So let's start off by adding the Java doc. Bubble sort implementation for an array of data. Put my author tag. Um, close that off. So public class bubble sort. That's done, so now I need a method. So let's Java doc the method. Forms the bubble sort on the data array using the compare editor to decide less than. That param data the array to sort. And now we need to implement the bubble sort. So the bubble sort is we loop through the array, comparing each pair, and then moving the larger one to the right or to the larger end of the array. And we do that as many times until we stop. If we don't do an exchange, that means the array has already been sorted and we're done. So we want to say Boolean exchange to indicate whether we've done an exchange equals false since we haven't done any and we want to keep track of the passes that we run through it because we only have to do it the length of the array at the most because each time we could go through it we're going to move the largest item into the array into its correct place so we need an int pass and we're going to start with a one so now we need to do the inner loop that will allow us to compare the items side by side and do this, the, the swap if necessary. So for int i equals 1, we're going to start at the first, the, the second item in the array, and we're going to compare the left one and the right, that current one. So that's why we're starting at 1 and not 0. We go until i is less than data dot length minus pass. So that indicates where the largest thing is going to end up. So the first time through, we want to put the largest item at the end of the array, which is a data minus dot length minus pass, and then we increment i. So now, what do we, we need to compare? the two items. So we want to say int result is equal to compare dot compare. And then we want to say what's the left item. So it's data sub i minus one. And what's the right item is data sub i. So now we're looking at the item at the left and the item at the right, they're adjacent. So we start off, we look at zero and one, and then one and two. And so we now need to check the result. So if result 
is greater than zero, meaning the left one is greater than the right one, we want to swap them. So E temp equals data sub i, data sub i equals data sub i minus one. So we swap the left one to the right one, and now we put the right one in the left one, so we say data sub i minus one equals temp. So now we have swapped them, so we want to say exchange equals true. Now I have forgotten to, at the beginning, I need to do my do loop, so I need do. statement, that's my for statement, and now I need while, so I want to loop the outer loop while exchange. So as, as long as we swap something, we, want, we need to keep going. So for in here, I need to make sure that each time we go in here, exchange equals false. We have to initialize exchange to false when we start that each time we loop. Now, once we get done with the for loop, we're done with one pass. So we go pass plus plus. So we increment the pass. By incrementing the pass and using it in this for loop, we are picking the end of the array and everything beyond that will be sorted correctly. So the largest item will be at the end, the next largest will be n minus one, all the way up until the smallest item at the beginning. And so that took me roughly nine minutes to do this, even when I made the mistake of not including this outer do while loop. But you can see that we loop and in that loop, we do the comparisons of the adjacent ones, and we swap if the left one is greater than the right one. And we remember that we did our exchange so that we can continue the do loop. If we don't do an exchange, that means we've got a sorted array and we can stop. Thank you very much for your attention.